الحمد لله ونستعين ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله It was said كن شامخا في تواضعك متواضعا في شموخك شامخا في تواضعك متواضعا في شموخك It was said that have high aspiration go really high with your humbleness and when you are way up there be down here with your humbleness you are down here, have high aspiration to be humble. And when you are up there, have low down here, come down here for your humbleness. Because the issue is, who are you? Who are you? Are you a human being? If you are a human being, then you don't qualify for your arrogance. Arrogance is not a quality that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts for a human being. Because when you are arrogant, then whatever you have it has to be because of you. And nothing you have because of you. If you reflect on the ayat that we have recited, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in one ayah نحن قسمنا بينهم معيشتهم في الحياة الدنيا ورفعنا بعضهم فوق بعض درجات ليتخذ بعضهم بعضا سخريا ورحمة ربك خير مما يجمعون. This is one ayah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that it is His divine decree, it is His wisdom and knowledge, infinite knowledge, that He created us different, people higher than others in status and in knowledge and in looks, in everything, for the sole purpose of serving one another, not to be arrogant with one another. The doctor is not any better than the person who collects it. And the person who collects the trash is not any better than anyone else. Without the person who collects the trash, the doctor cannot live. And without the doctor, the person who collects the trash cannot live. لِيَتَّخِذَ بَعْضُكُمْ بَعْضٌ سُخْرِيَّةٌ To serve one another. And you're all equal, as Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, كُلُّكُمْ سَوَاسِي كَأَسِنَّةَ الْمُشْتَ are like a comb, equal, everyone is equal. So when you have the status and when you have the wealth and when you have the health and when you have that, the more you have this, the lower you should go, not higher. When you look at other people, you look at them with the eye of mercy, with the eye of love, with the eye of hoping the best for them, wishing them that they can get what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you rather than seeing yourself better. فَاسْتَمْسِكْ بِالَّذِي أُوحِيَ إِلَيْكْ إِنَّكَ عَلَى صِرَاطٍ مُسْتَقِمٍ Hold fast to the Qur'an and to the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because you are on the straight path. But don't let that Qur'an and Sunnah make you arrogant to others because you had the knowledge of. This is another 
area where people, many people compete for who knows more. Many people, when they memorize the Quran, for instance, they see themselves way different than other people. And they, you can see it, you can feel it, that they see themselves preferred over others. Well, if you see yourself preferred over others because indeed that is preference if you appreciate it. A person who memorizes the Quran is indeed preferred over others who doesn't, but that's if you prefer, if you appreciate it. If you don't appreciate it, you'll be the first one to be thrown in hellfire. Look at that major difference. A person holding the Quran, and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, the heart that holds the Quran will not be punished in the hellfire. This person, because he held it, and he was humble with it, he was grateful with it, he understands it's a ni'mah that is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another person, he memorized the Quran. It was a test for him from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a test for both. This person understood his level. He understood he's a human being. He understood this ni'mah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, appreciated it, put him in Jannah. This person saw himself special in an arrogant way. So he saw himself so good with that. What happens? The first one would be thrown in hellfire, as Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi told us in one hadith. So the message we have is always, always be humble. Always attribute whatever good you have to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Number one, number one before anything, just, just, just say La Hawl wa La Quwa illa Billah. There is no moving, there is no obedience, there is no staying away from disobedience without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once you get that settled in your mind, that you will never be arrogant, you will never feel arrogant. Rather, every time you have something good, it makes you connect even more with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because if you come to think about it, really we have nothing to do with being whom we are, except the course that we decide to take. I want to be guided. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees that sincerity, He gives me that. And if you don't have it, you don't have it. Know yourself. Where you came from? Dust, dust, clay, earth, you name it. Who you dealing with? Different creatures? Same thing, the same thing you came from. There. Who's your father? Adam, alayhi salam. Kullukum min Adam. Adam and Turab. All of you from Adam and Adam from Turab. From dust then understand that. If you come to think about you, you yourself, you're created from a sperm. A sperm, a despicable thing that we are created from and then you become arrogant. Walking with what? What's inside of you? What's inside of you? Bathroom. That's who we are from the inside. Came from a sperm, carrying our, you know what? And then when you die, give it a day or two, nobody want to get near you. You stick. That's a human being. That's who we are. If we understand that, it will be always fine. Subhanakallah, Thank you very much.